Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick peek into my keto goodies pantry. I'm not gonna go through my whole pantry with like all the food from the family or for the family, but I have a section of my pantry where I have like my keto chow and um, like my Equip Prime Protein and all my like keto goodies that I have grown to love. I actually got this idea for this video from Miriam from Keto Chow. I had mentioned that I had gotten some special little pantry bins for my Keto Chow where they fit really nicely and she wanted to see a shot of my pantry. So I am going to show you guys that here in just a minute. But first we have a package here and it's actually not a package for me. Levi, I was just about to call you. I'm done. Okay. Um, you got a package in the mail. Uh, it might Come. be a toy. Uh, I don't know about a toy. Don't, it might be a toy or a food. Those, yeah. are two, those are two good options. Here, come over here. Let me uh, get the camera can down. A, can I see if it says Levi? Yeah, does it say Levi? Um, I think it says it like... It's keto? Yeah, it does say keto. Yeah. See? Keto. Oh, chow. Yeah. Keto chow. And then, right Levi. here. <gasps> Levi. Yep, that's Levi. All right, you ready to see what it is? So, keto chow sent you a package. <laughs> How did they do that? They, they just watched one of our videos, I think, and they decided that you needed something. And they sent it. Oh. I don't know what's going to be. It might be food. Well, it could be something else besides a toy or a food, yeah. right? Like just um, something that I like. It's another package! Another package! A package and a package! Wait, I think it's come good. over here so we can see. There we go. Wait. Ah. What is it? What is it? It's another package! A package is a package. Look, there's a little note. Yeah. Wait, I think look. that's... Wait. <gasps> it sent me a small note. An apron. Look, it says Levi. You need an apron, too. Look. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. On our little keto chow card. I love it. There it is. And I know it's going to be big for you, but we'll... Um, we can pin it so it fits you just right okay i think it's can i see if it's big or yeah it's a big one but remember how we tied um renee's yeah. and we can we can pin it so it fits you just right so that when you're cooking keto chow recipes with us you have an apron too oh that didn't work i made it too small or your head's too big <laughs> <gasps> you look so good now you're ready to work on some keto chow recipes huh can we do that today? We might do that soon. What recipe do you want to make next? I want to make a cheesecake. Another one? Yeah. That's the last thing we did. <laughs> we'll have to find something besides a cheesecake to do next. Maybe yeah. some muffins. Muffins or... with snow eggs. With snow eggs or... With... I saw you said eggs. With, with eggs. no eggs. Yeah. Yeah, with no eggs. I thought you was... said with eggs. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Bye -bye. That would be terrible. Look, you match Bubs. Bubs just needs a Keto Chow logo on his back and then he'd look just like you. I would. He would, because he's black and you're black. Your I'm apron's black. I'm going to pin this. Okay, let's work on it, okay? okay. So here's my keto goody pantry stash and um, I do have blackout curtains so when it's sunny I keep those closed because obviously I don't want my pantry stuff to be you know in direct sunlight often <laughs> um, but the blackout curtains work really well all right so I will just start over here I guess and show you what I have so all my big bags I have here these are the health code um, meal replacement shakes I have both of the flavors chocolate macadamia nut and uh, just creamy vanilla and besides tasting these I really haven't done much with them um, just because I don't drink protein shakes you know I should try them in the ninja creamy and see if they make a yummy ice cream they are sweetened with stevia um, and then one thing that makes them different from keto chow is that they have the fat in the mix so you don't have to add a fat so for some people maybe that's more convenient for some people probably less convenient because you want to control the fat and the 
and control the amount of fat. So um, yeah, anyways, I, I do need to try this in the creamy because I just don't drink meal replacement shakes ever. And then I have a couple big bags of keto chow. I have one of the chocolate and one of the blueberry pie that's kind of getting, you know, maybe halfway. I'm using that up because that makes great ice cream. Okay, and then I have my Equip Prime Protein, all four flavors. Uh, well, they actually, they have five because they have an unflavored, but I don't use that one or I've never used that one. I have the four flavored versions, strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, and peanut butter. And this obviously is different from both the Keto Chow and the Health Code because it is not meant to be a meal replacement shake. It is just meant to be a protein powder with the flavoring and the sweetness. Anyway, so that's the Equip. I love having these in my yogurt in the morning. With a scoop of this, you get like 20 grams of protein. And with, you know, all the fat from the yogurt, it's basically a meal for me. So love, love, love those. In my yogurt, I also love to put keto chow, but my favorite way to use keto chow is in the Ninja Creamy, of course. Um, this is a good opportunity to let you know that their spring and summer flavors have dropped. They are now available. I already turned this one into ice cream or turning it into ice cream in the freezer as we speak, um, but I wanted to save the package so I could show you. Orange cream, key lime, root beer float, guava grapefruit, orange mango, and pina colada. Those are the new the new spring summer flavors that are seasonal. So they're just there for a limited time, but they are on sale now. Um, so when I use a little bit of the um, keto chow in my yogurt, I usually use about 15 grams. Um, and one packet usually is around 46 grams, so about a third of a packet. So I'll have extra leftover and this is just how I keep them to save for when I need to use some more. All right, so these are the containers. So I had these, they're like for cans and they work okay, but the keto chow packets kind of have to go a little crooked and I wanted something that fit more just right. So I found these, they have these little dry erase areas here. This is a sticker I can take off and then write on there if I wanted to. Um, but they are just the perfect size for the keto chow packets. So I have two of those. Um, let me show you my keto chow collection here. We got Irish cream, caramel macchiato, a lot of caramel macchiato. I have one more pecan sticky bun that I don't want to use because it's the last one and it's out of stock. And so I don't know when I will get more. I have um, one maple waffle, same thing with this one. It's out of stock and I don't want to use it because I don't know when I'll have more. Have a couple of the blueberry pie couple chocolate, one mocha. I haven't tried the mocha yet. I need to. I have an eggnog. I have two eggnogs. There are some recipes with the eggnog that I want to try. I have a bunch of snickerdoodle. I have a lemon meringue, a banana, and a vanilla. And then over here I have, let's see, one, two, three chocolate, four chocolate toffees. I think I have four of the salted caramel. Let's see, peanut butter, uh, let's see, let's see, chocolate peanut butter, got a couple chocolate peanut butters, those ones are so good. And then I have some more of the Keto Chow Core back here. This is the unsweetened and dairy-free, three of the unsweetened uh, dairy-free and two of the stevia sweetened dairy-free. And then back here I have my uh, shaker bottles, one Keto Chow, one Equip. And then back here in the corner, because I don't use them as often, is all of the um, savory Keto Chow. I have some beef soup. I have all the different savory ones, so I don't know if I need to go through all of them. Taco, creamy tomato, um, savory chicken. So one more back here, savory chicken. I think that's it. Okay, and then over here is my... Um, probiotic box <laughs> where I keep all the different probiotics that I use to make the super gut fermented dairies or yogurts. And I basically use my super gut book as the, um, as a cookbook. So I just keep it here in my pantry. I have the, the, um, bookmark in there of 
where all the recipes are. And I have my little cheat sheet of all of the different ones that I use and all like the ideal temperatures and all that. So I just keep that here. This is the coconut milk recipe from the website that I actually have a video coming on soon. I just need to get it edited. But in here I have my digestive advantage. Ugh. The BioThin, I have the BioGaia, that's the l This is another one um, that I need to do some more of because it is a probiotic that helps you um, uh, absorb iron. <laughs> it's actually a probiotic that is shown to help you absorb iron. And Lord knows I need all the help I can get in that area. So I need to get that one going again. So that's all my yogurt supplies. Then up here I have my most recent order from Element. It's got, oh, they sent me a sticker this time. I've never gotten a sticker before. Now I need to figure out where I want to put it. Very cool. But I got my sample packs and my um, different flavors in here. These are my three favorite flavors. Um, citrus salt, orange salt, raspberry salt. I think my top two are citrus salt and raspberry salt. And I don't, I can't decide between those two which one's my favorite. I kind of cycle in between both of them. And actually, I really want to mix them because I think a raspberry lemonade flavor would be phenomenal. So that's my element. And then, of course, I have all my carnip, not all of them, just like some to grab <laughs> whenever I need some here. Chicken skin are my favorite for sure, but I have all different varieties in here and the kids love these too. Renee has eaten all of the pork loin ones that I had um, and I just have them available here whenever I need some to grab, like if I'm running out the door and don't wanna have to stop somewhere to get food. These are such a great and easy way to take food that doesn't have to be refrigerated or anything like that. Over here, I have my Perfect Keto cereal. I love having this on top of my yogurt. That's like the, basically the only way I eat the cereal, like as cereal. I also love crushing up the cereal and making um, like cheesecake crusts with it. I also, when I have leftover crumbs like this, I will sprinkle these on my yogurt. And that just gives like a different texture to the yogurt. It's kind of like um, a cheesecake with a with a graham cracker crust or an Oreo crust or something, uh, it's really, really good. So I kind of, I, I like the whole cereal on the yogurt, but I'm kind of torn. I think I like the, the crumbs on the yogurt even better. I have a few keto bars here. Um, this is the, the plant-based keto bars. I think I like the peanut butter ones the best, um, but obviously I ate all those. And so I have the dark chocolate coconut and the mint chocolate left. Um, some Nola bars. Okay, I tried these. I found these at the store and I was like, I, I'll just give them a try. I I wanted to like them. Like there were certain things about them that I really liked. The texture was really, really good. There was just something about the flavor and the way it made me feel that I was like, uh, I, I can't, I can't recommend it or say that I like it, but it was almost good. It was really close to good. <laughs> okay, a couple packs of the super fat, um, nut butters, cacao coconut, and macadamia MCT plus probiotics. Some Mala Munch bars. These are the chocolate ones. My husband loves these and Levi loves these. Same, th same with the peanut butter ones. Um, I always have some packs of Trader Joe's olives on hand for quick and easy snacks. And then um, the Epic bars were on sale at New Seasons oh, a while ago and I stocked up they were like 50% off, so it was a really good deal. So I just have a couple of those left. This one wasn't very good, and for the um, five grams of total carbs, it was, I won't buy that one again. But this one with just one gram total carbs was really good. And then these are the keto bars that they really have grown on me, and actually it's just these two flavors that I like. Um, I haven't tried the almond butter brownie, but um, I have tried, this one is the salted caramel, don't love it. Um, the cinnamon roll, don't love it. Uh, I think that was all the flavors I've tried. But the, um, pe uh, the peanut butter chocolate chip and the chocolate chip cookie dough, they've really grown on me and they're incredibly filling. It's not the kind of thing where I could eat more than one bar in a sitting. It's like physically, I don't think I could. Um, and usually just like half a bar is satisfying at the end of the meal for me. So I like those. Um, they've become kind of my favorite, my favorite keto bar at the moment. 
So that was interesting because when I first tried them, I was like, oh, I don't really like these. The texture, it's not what I expected and I don't know, but they've grown on me. Okay, so I have one more section actually over by my coffee maker that has some more keto pantry stuff and I'll show you that real quick. Okay, so down below my coffee maker, I have all of my woo, stuff for drinks and this is quite full. Okay, this I usually use this is not for you, bubs. This I usually use in my coffee or in yogurt. And I also use the MCT oil powders and the collagen powders in my yogurt. So this just ended up in here with that. So I have peanut butter, perfect keto collagen. Um, let's see. Chocolate, perfect keto collagen. What's this one? Probably strawberry strawberry perfect keto collagen and then all the mct oil powders this one's almost empty strawberry cinnamon toast i use this in my egg yolk waffles the most um vanilla also good in egg yolk waffles i have my one box of um, chocolate medley left I'm trying to make it last as long as possible because it is i believe it's no longer available on the website um let's see unflavored matcha i should drink more matcha lattes because this is really really good i just never think to drink it because i'm always thinking to drink coffee um let's see salted caramel and then i have my um super reds hibiscus lemonade that is the best in jello or um uh, gummies which i need to make some more of and then also down here i have a little bit left of the Vital Proteins uh, Vanilla Creamer, Collagen Creamer. It, uh, for a dairy-free creamer, this one is not bad, although I don't love the vanilla. This one was the best. This one has really, really good flavor. It's mocha flavor, and it actually has some coffee flavor in the collagen, and it's really good. I, I do like it. Um, also, I have the other Super Reds here, the Blueberry Pomegranate for drinking. This one was better than that one. We did a little review on both of the flavors and this one was pretty good. This one we didn't love in um, just as a drink, but when we put it into gummies, uh, the flavor was really good. Just a couple more things that have spilled over over here, which of course are the barista blend, the white chocolate raspberry, the hazelnut. And honestly, I don't know if I'm allowed to show you this yet, but I have not received instructions. So I'm going to risk it and just go ahead and show you this. Um, it's not available to purchase on the website yet, but I imagine it is coming soon since they sent me a bag but it's the new uh flavor on uh steve serious keto's um review of the barista blend he had a whole deal where you could go and vote on what flavor you wanted to be released next um there were two options it was maple spice and i think it was like something chai and i guess maple spice one um again I hope I don't get in trouble for sharing this too early, <laughs> but I have not received instructions yet. So anyways, that is something, but I have not opened it. I have not tried it. I cannot tell you how it is yet. I hope you enjoyed that peek into my keto goodies pantry. Obviously I didn't even get into all this stuff, like all of my Redmond seasonings and spice blends and pork kicking good spices and all that stuff and all my baking stuff just keeping it to the keto goodies today. So that is it for me today. I'll have links to all of the stuff that I mentioned here. I usually have a coupon code for these kinds of things. So if I have any links, coupon codes, I will put them down in the, in the description for you if you are interested. Thanks for hanging out in my pantry with me today, and I will see you again in another video.